that's us just got off the bike heading straight to the village to see what this year's winter damage has done to it and plan the big rebuild that we've got coming and have a good look around you gotta be careful around here because there is actually woodland cows <laughs> the woodland cows they hide behind bushes and pine trees It's just all water. Give it a bat, Tim. Eh? Give it a bat. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to burst it. Or, or a really good slap. Oof. <laughs> That's awesome. I can barely lift that. How many litres do you reckon that is? I reckon at least 10 or 15. Oh, it's a lot. I'd say more than that because it's like it's so heavy. Watch it doesn't burst on you. I, I can't even like push it <laughs> to like start to pour it out. Couldn't resist. Started stripping down shelters left, right, and centre. And roofs. It was in a bad way when we got here, wasn't it, Tim? Yeah, it was. It was a bit uh, kilns untouched. We've had a cow invasion. So, yeah. Some epic building over the last couple of hours. Put that wall up in the wrong place. So I need to take that down when we come on Sunday. So yeah, we're heading home now. Roofs and shelter still there. That's my lift away. So I'm here for two nights. <coughs> Tim's on his way now. We decided to meet here because uh, yeah I've got a lot of luggage so it wouldn't have fit on the bike and it would have only caused damage if it did so I said to him I'd get a taxi so yeah I'm here I'm gonna start just uh, heading in because I've got quite a bit to carry and uh, yeah I'll meet Tim there when I get when he gets here
to get this new wall finished tied it in and then that's when you've got two walls to the new shelter just need to take this down in order to get everything inside and access around the kiln and uh, get the kiln fired up to its full capacity which is never done before so yeah that'll be a thing it's looking a bit mental at the moment but it'll be awesome once it's done hopefully late tonight and the old stuff all tidied up quite a lot of uh, rubble and stuff just take it all up and put it on the new shelter and leave the area tidy Very tight willow wall, so it's willowed, tarped, and then about a foot thick with logs. And that's pretty much all the way around. It's gonna be. Tim's got the kiln burning like a reeling. Our food on the go. Just uh, ration meals for now. Once we've got all the shelter and everything up, which I've started to put roof rafters on one side. Tim's started to taper in the kiln a lot. About another two feet and we'll be out there shelter. Grand. The heat's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> log walls, kiln in the middle, two raised beds on either side, proper log walled inside, big enough to walk around too. It's going to be epic. Started to spit a little bit of rain like, but nothing serious. Rain is on the go and I've been assisting. I've been warming out the sausages and passing them to Tim and he's been putting them on. So good, it's so good. Say it's probably about five feet mm. tall now. So that is a chimney. <laughs> awesome. That is just pure epicness. Look at that inside the shelter now. Where the bed. It's raining now. Got a wall here now, closing in the cabin. Still a lot of work to do. But getting there fast. Got half a roof on just to give us some shelter. But still taping the kiln, not far to go now until it's out the roof. Sitting on my bed. The kiln going out the roof. Eating strawberry gatto. One of your five a day. <laughs> That's a nice bacon and in the kiln have black pudding. You've destroyed your chin. <laughs> mm. Well, Tim got stung by a wasp last night on his chin. Look for look down. There you see the lump. I look ridiculous, don't I? Next to the moon. <laughs> yeah, he got stung last night by a wasp here. And then he 
killed it and then it was fine and he's obviously agitated it when he was sleeping and it's like a it's like a cyst now <laughs> poor soul it's all right well i've got some ointment the plans for today is first of all before anything happens at all coffee and then i'm gonna get the kiln going just to warm up this place a little bit not that it's cold and there's still hot ashes in the bottom of the kiln which is not a lot Side. Seen it last night. It was flaring up proper. It was awesome. And the roof's pretty safe around it. Still got a lot of uh, work to do on the shelter top. <laughs> Breakfast porridge. Simple oats. Got sort of like clay and wood everywhere at the moment. So yeah, it's uh, Tim's drying his boots. Gonna have breakfast and have a tidy up and get back to work at finishing. I've got this to finish, I've got this to finish, I've got the roof to finish along there. All sorts. The front wall to our shelter, and I'm gonna stuff it full of uh, reeds and brushes. I just uh, want to say I've had to lend Tim's knife because I bought a brand new Mora, the fire starting one and yeah, I've, I lost it last night, I've lost it already so yeah I'm back to a pen knife again I can't believe it, I've got the sheath attached to my pants but I was doing all sorts last night and I could have left it and it fell off and Finds an unsheathed knife. It's mine. And it's not mine if you get stabbed with it by accident. <laughs> it's not mine.
reading the front, front of the shelter. Got it all reeded. Got a sort of balcony in there. I'll show you when I get back. Yeah, just got this little patch to do. Oh, sweet. So the shelter's almost dark now, apart from some spots in the roof around the chimney and that. But my bed's over there, Tim's is there. I'll show you better later when we've got the lights on. Up some big logs for the fire tonight. Solid log. Pine's probably the hard, the well, the most awkward to split her, especially seasoned pine. So many knots in it. We'll get back to you with our nicely sliced wood. Yay! <laughs> hey, at least it's nice and dry. Max, doing a real good job as usual. I'm putting the salmon parcels into the belly of the beast. <laughs> Probably gonna take like 30 seconds each side. <laughs> An edge of uh, sausage rigging, <laughs> cooking. Just setting a little wire lock in the doorway. Salmon underneath. Salmon's awesome. Sausages are getting there. You are. <laughs> That's the sun going down. Bed. Sweet. So that's me chilling in my bed now. End of the second night. We've not had a because I've been so busy building. Really haven't got a lot of footage of it. But again, I'll I'll try and show you a bit more in the morning before we go of everything, the layout and all that. Yeah, catch you all in the morning. Well, another amazing sleep. My uh, bed's still slope and I never got it fixed yesterday because I was too busy doing all the walls and that. Shelter's warmish, we just relit the kiln after it going out. It's grand. Coffee and a... Uh, quick spot of breakfast and then I think we're going to hit the road the cabin entrance it's the porch around the other side a little bit yeah, so there's the porch it's the wall going in angled doorway old reed wall little window there 
all the way around here to where Tim's bed is. <laughs> loads of space. Loads of space. So Tim's bed there. Then the kiln. Look at that beast. And then my bed's over there. And then we've logged the wood at the floor at the back, wooden. So yeah, stand behind the kiln and it's just so warm. Yeah. yeah. That's us all packed up and heading home now. Big thanks for watching, we'll catch you on the next one. Check out Tim Robson's YouTube, I'll put a link down below. Yeah, also I have a lot of uh, pictures for Instagram too, so check out my Instagram, it's also Kalal195. And we'll check you on the next one.